Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today I'm going to show you how to set up Apple Pay on your new iOS 8.1 device. So first and foremost, you gotta have iOS 8.1. If you don't have that new update, then you cannot uh, have Apple Pay. And then you must have either the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, or you can use the 5C or 5S, but there are certain stipulations that uh, you need to read about under the Apple pay terms of service. I'll put that link down below. So anyways, with all of that out of the way, let me show you what we're going to do. So first thing we're going to do is go to our passbook application. Yes, that application that looks like this here that you've never used before, you're going to click or tap on that. Then this new dialog box will come available to you that will say credit and debit card. It says pay with touch ID using Apple Pay, make purchases and all that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, it says set up Apple Pay. Click on that blue set up Apple Pay link and then it'll come up with this here. It'll say add a new credit or debit card. Now, so what we're going to do now is click on that and then here it's going to ask you for your credentials. So go ahead and do that now. So you can either type in all of this information or you can click on this nice little blue camera icon. Your camera will come available and you can take a picture of your card and it will read it automatically like they do with the iTunes cards now uh, in that recent iTunes update. So anyways, unfortunately for me, uh, Apple Pay is not available for my bank or my type of card. But once you're done with this, it'll say congratulations, you're now able to pay with Apple Pay. Uh, and then going forward, any places that accept Apple Pay like like Walgreens, Whole Foods, whatever, you'll be able to pay by just getting your phone out and using Apple Pay with your Touch ID. If you need to know how to set up Touch ID, I'll put that link down below as well. But anyways, what are you guys going to do? Are you going to use Apple Pay? Do you see use in this? I do. If my card was available, trust me, I'd be doing it now. But again, and you can also get to this through the settings. So you can go to settings right there where it says Passbook and Apple Pay. You can just click on that and then it'll allow you to set it up just the same way. So anyways, guys, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to my channel for more great tech content just like this. Don't forget to visit my Patreon page and support the channel and get some awesome stuff in return for doing that. Thanks as always guys for watching my videos and I will see you in the next one.